He's a, he's a, a theatrical uh, performer. So it, it brings out that side of him whenever he performs with Ryan and vice versa. Like, yeah. Him naman, we can really see him naman then, but then channel more the, the vulnerable and the next side of him. We're yeah. still team lies to her. So am I. So am I. Yeah. Uh, I'll always be rooting for that. Uh, but um, it's interesting. Very interesting to see because I'm I'm always doing those big ballads, and that's what always usually what I perform is a big show-stopping ballad. And Ice made a really good point, saying it's very it's amazing when you do that and people love it. But they Ice wants me to be more relatable now because talent isn't always relatable. But it's, you can wow somebody, but you might not be able to relate to them. And so Ice has this uncanny ability to be talented and also relate so well with the audience, right? And so that's one thing that I'm, I'm learning is, okay, you don't always have to go top gear to, to hit these notes. Sometimes it's, it's about what you're saying, and it's about the vulnerability of the song, and it's not about the talent of the vo vocal, it's about the, the, the pureness and truth of the song. And, and the story that you're telling. And so that's kind of one thing that I'm really taking to heart is, is that side of it. And all those pieces play a part in entertaining the audience and, you know, moving them because art, that's what art is, is, is raising people up to their higher self and up to the divine and up to God. And, and instead of shocking them, you're, you're there to, to lift them up. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to lift up the people. Lisa, we were just saying that since your network quite large. Uh, so do you how do you plan to tap the network? Uh, in yes. Um, network? It's funny because um, there's already been, I don't even have to do anything. Like they reach out to me and uh -oh. you know are curious like what are what's Ryan's plans? Is he staying here longer? Because mm -hmm. they want to set up something. Mm -hmm. So I needed to talk to him first so that we had that meeting last Sunday mm -hmm. just to uh -oh. really understand uh -oh. um, how he sees like because I see that the concert is just the beginning. It's a takeoff point to what oh. could be um, a career that he can also have here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But we also have to understand the sensibilities, the, the you know, how he relates Coach. to you. Know. And that's where ICE comes in. Yeah. ICE grounds everything so much that, you know, but uh, he's even dancing on TikTok wow. now. I mean, okay. <laughs> so I, Not it's, very it's, well. it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a you see, it's Say, also, not very well. It's also a change of a big change in terms of the culture, understanding yes. the culture of Filipino audiences. Um, of course, in the U.S., nakita ko rin yung ano niya, yung um, yung kanyang um, openness. Before, it's all about image. You have to look the best. You have to. But here in the Philippines, it's all about authenticity. Like. <laughs> Wearing a baseball hat and a shirt. I, I always would be yeah. dressed up and, and stuff to meet, right? The last press con. I was all ready to go. And then Ice is like, just chill. Just be you. You know, be relatable. Be Because you'll have your moments to shine. But just be relatable in certain moments where it's, you know, you don't have to be the best in the room or anything. Yeah. Just hang out. Yeah. And, and I... This business is really kind of competitive, no matter where you go. And I've I've gotten <coughs> the competition with Americans, with Italians, with it, it's it's all over the place, right? And even like if you're doing a duet with somebody, um, there's always a competition. I never feel that way because I'm very like no, go, go yeah. sing, it's okay. We're here to we're here to sing. But I've definitely felt that before. Here in the Philippines, I don't feel it. I don't feel it as much here in the Philippines. But is there like something that you're trying to say to the audience to start with to like make them feel more at ease with you? And yeah, I, I, I try to hide behind my jokes a little bit or like kind of jokey, kind like of kind, of, fun. kind of be fun a little yeah. bit and not take myself serious. And I try to make jokes that poke more fun at me or fun at a situation yeah, instead of poking there. jokes at people because I feel like people might, you might hurt, hurt yeah, them. Sure. And so I, I try to be the butt of the joke for the most part. And that's really self-deprecation, but just I, I pick on myself a little bit because, you know, I, I, I can handle it, right? right? Because it's me, it's me, yeah. It works a little bit. And um, I've kind of always had to do that my whole life, actually, because I've, a lot of times, especially in high school, I was, I remember I'd make friends with people 
and they would say to me, they're like, oh, you're actually, like, cool. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, why? What'd you think I was? And they'd be like, well, I thought you might be, like, cocky or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't even think that way about people, but okay. And so, obviously, I, I had that aura, and then when they met me, they're like, oh, you're actually, you're nice. You're a nice person, and you're just down to earth. And so... I've, I think I've always taken that, and it's kind of maybe trauma response, where it's like, okay, I want to be, I don't want to be that guy that's like, yeah, bum, or something. Like, I always want to be, like, kind and, and humble. Like, there's a, a saying that I always say, it's like, hard work gets you in the door, but humility lets you stay, right? It's my first concert in the Philippines, so I think there's uh, there's a lot of anticipation going into it. It's not just, it's not just going to be a dinner show or anything, and it's going to be post-Valentine's, right? And so... I'm trying to get away from the, the rush of Valentine's a little bit and go into the weekend and give some some people something to do if, if there's a lot of single people out there, maybe. But I think what's going to be different is it's not all, like, lovey, lovey songs. And this is um, more about kind of my journey and singing songs that aren't I wouldn't necessarily typically sing at a, at a performance, but they're all songs that make up who I am. And so whether it be related to my family back home or related to my faith. Some are going to be ballads and love songs, and of course, you know, that's, love is the best thing to sing about. But it's going to be more of a, of a journey through where I started to where I am now, and it's about time that I have my first concert. And so it's going to be kind of that. And so it's a little different than a Valentine's because it's not going to be so lovey-dovey, roses and hearts. It's going to be more gritty. Gritty Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you, you've done a solo concert in the U.S. before? Or? I had my first concert when I was 21 mm. when I did, um, when Mo Monet Lou produced it. Uh, but um, that was more of a, it was like a birthday celebration mixed with my first concert, right? Mm. This is actually my first proper, proper concert. Yeah. Instead of just being <clears throat> hired to come and sing three, four songs, uh -huh. and, and yeah, day, yeah. right? Which I do, and I love doing that. But this is, has the lights, it has yeah. the stage director, it has the, the yeah. everything, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, luckily, the team's amazing, and they're handling it all, because I wouldn't know what to do. We just had a production meeting right before this this uh, press conference. And um, I'm like, you're you're the light guy, you're pro. I, I There's no tips I can give you, because I'm sure you know how to do that way better than I, I know how to do it. And, and then they're like, well, if you want to put some input, give, give us some input. I'm like... Um, maybe if it's blue tones. <laughs> and so it's very, it's like, you know, like child. Like I'm like a little kid. Oh, what? Make, can we make it blue? <laughs> you know, Sir, in a way, this is also an introduction to the Filipino audience, to uh, the Ryan. Yeah. So, um, you know, Filipino audiences are often curious about the, the personal lives of their uh -huh. celebrities. <laughs> so, can they ask you? Can they ask you? <laughs> So, he has a question. Do you have your own Valentine's Day? Yeah. <laughs> I'm single. So, no Valentine's Day. This is, this is, they, they kind of thinking about that. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm going to freeze right through Valentine's thinking okay, at my concert. And I'm not going to celebrate Valentine's. Or have any time to think about my Valentine's. So, yeah. So, is it the first Valentine's that you don't have a date? Hopefully, I can get a date Isn't after my concert. Okay. Uh, maybe I can look eligible or something. So, are you looking for I, a younger woman or, or an older, older woman? I'm looking for the right woman. Yeah, right woman. No matter, no matter because Janice is single. Well, why not? <laughs> why not talaga, Jan? Like so are you nervous for your first? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's um it's good nerves, right? It's it's a uh, anticipation type nerves. But um, I don't really get too nervous anymore to perform, but because I think um. Music is such a beautiful thing that you're just going to share with people, and whether it's good or bad, it's still you're still sharing it. And you're still offering what you do, right? And so that's how I approach it. It's just it's it's a it's a moment that I get to share what I love to do with the people that are there, right? And so if you if you look at it that way, then it's like no reason to be nervous about it. Um, 
and the team, the super, super, you know, Ice has been doing this. We were joking, like, I think I told you guys, Ice has been doing this for longer than I've been breathing, right? 